say goodbye to it and settle right in For hugs, snuggles, stories and more And so many sweet things in store Welcome to Afternoons with Mimi. Mimi! Mimi! Whoa, whoa, what's all the fuss? Mimi, I completely forgot. I need a costume for the perm carnival later. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. We have a big bin of dress-up clothes. Do you know who or what you'd like to be? Something Purimi. <laughs> like someone from the Purim story? King Ahashverosh, perhaps? We could put Papa's robe on you. Mm, I'm not sure. Or Queen Esther. I have this old white pillowcase we could cut up. I think I want to be a... Yes? A hummintoshin. <laughs> a hummintoshin? Yeah, a prune one. My favorite. Okie doke. You're the boss. Let me grab some supplies and we'll get started. Mimi? Yes? Why are they called hummintoshin? That's a great question. Slide on over here and let me tell you a little something. You always know the answers, Mimi. Well, I've heard a couple different answers for this one. My Tante Judith, for example. You've told me about her. Yes, I have. She was quite courageous, like Queen Vashti and Queen Esther. Anyway, when I was little, she used to tell me that Hamantaschen meant Haman's ears. Haman? Like the bad guy from the story? Yep. You know, these cookies, Hamantaschen, also look kind of like his hat. They do. Do you remember one time at the carnival when we made hats that looked like that? I do. It was pretty fun. Yours was blue, right? Hold still real quick. Blue is my favorite color. Mimi, this looks so good so far. Well, it's certainly coming along. Now, hold your arm out. Yep, just like that. Mimi, I have another question. I'm all ears, kiddo. Can you dress up like anything for Purim? <laughs> Pretty much, honey. Your cousins are going to be a burger and fries. And my friend Mossy is going to be a DJ. He has these awesome headphones that make the carnival less noisy. I kind of wish I had some. Well, we can talk to Ima and Baba about getting you some of those, if you need less noise, too. Sometimes I do. Like when Baby Z cries a lot and Baba is talking to other grown-ups on the computer for work. Mimi, why do we dress up in costumes for Purim? Another great question. And this one also has a few answers. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> I will. Just hold on. We need to take this off of you for one second. I'll answer your question while you help me paint the prune filling on your costume. Sure. Just hand me the paintbrush. We're using a sponge, actually. Dip it in the paint just like this. Ooh, squishy. So, you wanted to know why people dress up in costume for Purim? Yes. Why? It's a tradition. Why is it a tradition? <laughs> well, some people say that we wear costumes because we're in disguise, like Queen Esther was before she told her husband she was Jewish. What's disguise mean? It means to hide the way you really look. So if I was going to wear a disguise... Maybe I'd put on a big fake mustache. Or a wig like Aunt Rita wears? <laughs> or a wig like Aunt Rita wears. Is there another reason we wear costumes? Well, do you remember another tradition we do on Purim? We give those baskets to our neighbors and our friends. Yes, there are lots of traditions around giving and sharing on Purim. And a very long time ago, people would dress up in costumes so that everyone would be in disguise and no one would know who needed a little extra help during Purim. That feels silly, Mimi. I don't think I agree with that. What do you mean? Can you tell me more? No one should be embarrassed if they need help. Like, if you need food from the community fridge, you shouldn't have to wear a disguise. Hmm. No, honey. You shouldn't. You're exactly right. Think of the tradition this way. In disguise and all dressed up in costumes... Everyone could be equal for the day. You wouldn't know who was a king or a teacher or a... Or a uh, baseball umpire. 
or a baseball umpire. Ooh, watch the paint. Will Ima and Abba be here soon? Yes, they will, but I'll make sure this dries in time. Now this is a fine-looking Krunhomentaschen costume. Before we finish up, any other questions? What? I said, any other questions? Um, <clears throat> um, yes. I just thought of one. Lay it on me, kiddo. Why do we boo at Heyman? Because he's the bad guy. Yeah, but you and Ima told me booing is rude. Like at soccer practice. We don't boo the other team. <laughs> You're right. So, let's think about the Purim play or Purim spiel we'll watch. We know that when we're doing that, we're not booing or yelling at a real person. We're kind of playing a game, and we make noise whenever we see the bad guy. Haman? Yes, Haman. So is it tradition? Yes, it's a tradition. And it's okay to boo during that part, because it's part of that story and you're playing. But don't do boos in real life. Don't do boos in real life. Ah, oh, this costume looks perfect. <laughs> the most delicious prune hamantaschen I've ever seen. Thanks, Mimi. Do you think my friends will like it? Oh, they'll love it. Mimi, who are you going to dress up as? Guess. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm Haman. Oh, let me grab my coat and we'll head out. Mimi? Yes, Nishama Shuli. This is going to be the best perm carnival yet. You said it, kiddo. We'll be right there. <laughs>